interview brought to you by Roundup for Weeds and Grass Killer here with Bucks coach Mike Budenholzer. But Giannis Attentacubo and Chris Middleton set the tone for you guys offensively. What did you like about how aggressive they were, particularly in the paint? Yeah, they're doing a lot of good things. I think they're also playing with their teammates. Everybody's got to participate. Everybody's got to be involved. But it starts with uh, with Giannis and Chris, and I think they're in a good place. But you've told me many times over the years that good defense leads to good offense. What do you want to see defensively, particularly on Duncan Robinson, in this fourth quarter? Yeah, we just got to get more stops so we can play, you know, off the rebound and play against a defense that's not stead. We got to play, you know, maybe more connected to him. But, you know, it's, it's a good game. Um, a lot of good defense both ways. So, um, you know, that's the way it's supposed to be. Thanks so much, Brian. Thank you. Brian, back to you. Well, Tyler Hero starts the fourth with a three. Malik in the 15th three of the game for Miami. They've shot it 35 and a half percent from there as Giannis gets bumped by Adebayo. And Giannis is going to go to the line to shoot a pair. I think he has to give this young guy a ton of credit. Because he started off in that first six, eight minutes of the first quarter shaky. Just couldn't seem to get in the rhythm. Since that time, he's taken over the game in the paint. It just makes things happen. But the big thing is, as we move through the playoffs now, the foul shooting has got to improve. We all know that he shot it less in the high 60s during the season, and that makes it today he's two for four at the foul line. But you just love the physical contact that he will do and accept with his drives off of people in the paint when he's double and triple team. I think Mike Budenholzer always talks about in regard to Giannis who brought up again with us yesterday was how he has a consistent growth mindset. Some people talk about it, he is about it, continually wanting feedback, trying to get better. We've heard about the legendary stories in Milwaukee about lockout days where Mike Budenholzer had to lock the gym to keep his players out of there, led by Giannis who always wants to work as Giannis comes up with a rebound there, his 12th to go with 19 points. Now they double team Bam in that area. He thought that he, oh, great strip by Hero. Hero comes up with a steal. Milwaukee a one point lead. Fourth quarter, game one of this best of seven first round series. Three more games on the ESPN family of networks to come today. As none can hit the three, and even Chenzo to take that rebound away for Portis. Well, Lund is a very good three-point shooter. He shoots it at 38%. He'll take four or five a game. Even Chenzo left it short out of bio alone for his fifth rebound. So the big key right now for Miami is doing what you're doing now. Hold it for one shot. Dragic connects on the jumper. Goran Dragic now with 17 off the bench in 20 minutes. How about three for six and threes? And then also, 7 for 11 from the floor. I'd say he's having a nice day. Middleton, as size on none, couldn't finish. Good strong-handed rebound there from out of Iowa amongst multiple Milwaukee jerseys. Dragic, a three. In and out. And Giannis comes up with his 13th board. <laughs> And a foul here against Dragic. Our stacked sports lineup continues tonight and tomorrow. The NBA playoffs underway. We'll have game one between the Celtics and Nets on ABC at 8 Eastern. At the same time on ESPN, we'll have the junior welterweight unification bout between Jose Ramirez and Josh Taylor. That's why you got to have the ESPN app. And tomorrow morning on ESPN2, the Monaco Grand Prix jump starts today. And the final round of the PGA Championship is on ESPN at 10 a.m. Eastern. Another reason to have the app. Now that's a lineup. DiVincenzo flicks it out beautifully to Holiday. He needs the three. Loose ball. Who's going to get to it? It's out of bounds, and it's going to be Milwaukee basketball. Yeah, I just like the fact that in this quarter and at the tail end of the third quarter, uh, Miami is getting 
three, four guys on the defensive board. So they're all getting back in and they're making good things happen. Unfortunately, unfortunately if you're on this play, they didn't get a good break. Portis, Holiday, DiVincenzo, and then Kumbo, and Middleton, the five for Milwaukee. Middleton drops in a three. 20 points for the two-time All-Star. Uh, he's just been so smooth. And an answer on the other end, Tyler Hero. They're waiting for him to get hot because we all know that he's a very streaky shooter. Uh, in fact, maybe he'll get going for them now. Giannis, when he gets that runway in some space, impossible to stop. Well, you can see, anytime he gets down in there, whether he runs the reverse, whether he splits a double team, or he goes as strong to the hole, once he elevates, you gotta lay off. Hero, too strong. Timeout, take it. A tight fourth quarter. Milwaukee, Miami, game one. NBA First Round on ESPN is presented by Mountain Dew.